previously on Adventures of the Star Keepers. I fixed it! Commander, try it now! You did it! Cannon 3 is locked and loaded! I can't believe I fixed it! That was so cool! Yeah, it was. Weren't you scared, though? I mean, you ziplined from really high up, and you didn't faint or get sick. Yeah, but I felt just confident enough to push past my fears. That's awesome, Strider. I'm so glad you're part of our team. Thanks, Commander. Looks like we got everything working just in time. The robot army is here! Come on, we've got to get back to the land buggy. You ready to use your grappling hook one more time? Uh, <laughs> uh I guess. How long do you think Strider is going to be dreaming? His mumbling and thrashing have been going on forever. It's been ten minutes, Bubbles. Exactly, Tank. Who even sleeps that long? Sleep is so boring. Look, he's mumbling again. I wonder what's happening in his dream. Come on, Commander. We gotta stop him. We gotta stop him. Strider. Commander River, come in. Come in, Commander River. Lieutenant Lex, what's your situation? I wanted to warn you that the robot army has some type of aerial force. They're headed towards the sanctuary. Oh no! That's where the heart of the universe is being kept. Strider and I will cut them off in the center of the city. Copy that, Commander. I don't understand. How are the robots getting through our defenses so easily? Other than my brother and I, the only other person that would know how to get through is Admiral Radiform. Uh, Commander? I don't see how we can even get to the center of the city to cut them off. They're faster than us. Hmm. You have a point. Hold on. You're good at fixing machines. Can you make the land buggy faster? Ooh, a super speed land buggy? This is gonna be fun. Maybe I made it too fast. You want to go faster? Okay. What? No. <laughs> land. Sweet, solid, not moving land. <laughs> Hey, you're the one that made the land buggy so fast. But I wasn't the one driving. Strider, look! Lieutenant Lex was right! They've got flying robots! Not just any flying robots. Those are robot mosquitoes. Robot mosquitoes with lasers! Well, that just blasted the Waffle Shack restaurant. Lieutenant Lex is not going to be happy. Strider, you're the inventor. If you have any cool gadgets lying around, now would be a great time to use them. Well, I do have a few other modifications I've made to my portal caster, but I haven't really tested them yet. Just test them now. Uh, okay. Here we go. Did you just shoot fire out of your portal caster? <laughs> Looks like it. Like I said, this is the first time I'm testing it. It was supposed to be for toasting s'mores. Mmm. S'mores. Strider, focus on the robots, not your stomach. This is so cool. It's like I have fire powers. Can you imagine if our portal casters gave us power over stuff like fire and water? That's never going to happen. Oh, no. What is it, Commander? I'm getting a distress call from my brother, Commander Darius. He's with Admiral Radiform guarding the heart of the universe. I, I need to go. Wait, what about the robot army? Strider, you stay here and try to hold off the enemy. The Star Keepers must protect the heart at all costs. Lieutenant Lex should be here soon. You just need to hold your ground until reinforcements get here. 
But that's an order, Starkeeper. <sighs> Please, Strider. Yes, Commander River. I will. You can trust me. Thank you. You're a good Starkeeper, Strider. hours since Commander River left, and for some reason the robots disappeared and the fighting stopped. So why hasn't she come back? Huh? Who's there? Ugh. Ouch! Take that, robot! Hey, did you just hit me with a sub sandwich? <laughs> Is that Tuna? Oh my gosh, a survivor! Are you okay? Lieutenant Lex? Starkeeper Strider present and accounted for. Oh, I am so glad to see another Starkeeper. Sorry for that sandwich slap. I couldn't see you clearly through all this smoke. <sighs> the robot army caused a lot of destruction here. They even took down the Waffle Shack. Those monsters. But we won, right? We defeated all the robots. Yes, but we didn't win. What? That doesn't make any sense. Come with me. Let's get you cleaned up and I'll tell you what happened. Okay, so I didn't find another sub sandwich for you, but dun dun dun! I found a microwave. Now at least we can make the emergency popcorn I keep in my back pocket. It's been in my pocket for a few years. Shouldn't be too bad though, right? Does popcorn go bad? I don't understand. Where is Commander River? She got a distress call and headed toward the sanctuary. Why isn't she back yet? Strider, Commander River disappeared. She's gone. But what about Admiral Radiform? Wasn't she there? Maybe the Admiral can help us. Admiral Radiform betrayed us, Strider. She was only using the Star Keepers to get close to the heart of the universe. What? So she was working with the robot army? Yes. Commander River caught Admiral Radiform trying to use the heart of the universe to turn everyone into robots. It didn't work. At least, we don't think it did. And then, Radiform jumped through a dimensional tear. Commander River followed after her. The heart was destroyed. So we failed. Everything we did, it was all for nothing. Popcorn? It might put a pop in your step. <sighs> yeah. Even I think that's a terrible joke. Come on, Lex. If Commander River is gone, what are we supposed to do? We're Star Keepers. We keep helping people and following our code. Love, honesty, and virtue. The Commander's not here, and we don't know if she's coming back. Plus, the heart of the universe is destroyed. How is following our code gonna do any good now? <sighs> Strider, you're right. Commander River might not come back, but do you choose to believe that she will, or at least do her best to help us in some way? Well, yeah, I do. But why? You have no way of knowing where she is or what's happening there. Because, uh... Because you trust her, and you believe everything she said to you is the truth, right? <sighs> yeah. Listen, I know it feels tough to have faith in something you can't see or prove, but by choosing to believe in her, that's exactly what you're doing. Faith starts with a choice. And you can also choose to believe that us helping others and following our code will lead to good things. You're right, Lieutenant Lex. It can be hard to believe when I can't see it. But I do trust River and our code. <laughs> and even if you have questions, I'm sure someone will remind you why you chose to believe in the first place. You're going to help save this universe, Strider. I'm certain of it. Bubbles! Tank! He's waking up! What's going on? Man, what a dream. Uh, have you three been standing there staring the entire time I was asleep? Yep, you snore. But don't worry, Leo sings the Unicorn Princess theme song when he sleeps. Wait, what? Do not! So, what were you dreaming about? One of my first missions, back when I was a Starkeeper. See, you 
guys, it was a good dream. Well, yes and no. There were a lot of sad memories, but I remembered why I chose to be a Starkeeper and why I didn't give up hope. I had faith that someday the zone might be saved. I had forgotten all about that until now. Uh, Strider? Does Planet Ozuno usually have dimensional terrace just appear out of nowhere? No. We're known for our prairie drum trees. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering why there's a dimensional tear right over there. A what? Are you kidding me? Wait, I am awake, right? Yeah, you're definitely awake. This is real. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the Star Keepers, did you miss me? 